In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of configuring content translation. By the end of this tutorial, you will make custom block, custom menu link, and content entity types translatable, and you'll understand how to select specific subtypes and set which of the fields on each of these entities can be translated. To follow along, you should understand the concepts of content entities and fields, as well as user interface, content, and configuration translation in a Drupal site. See the written version of this tutorial for links to the prerequisites. In the Manage Administrative menu, navigate to Configuration, then in the Regional and Language section, select Content Language and Translation. Under Custom Language Settings, check Content, Custom Block, and Custom Menu Link to make these entity types translatable. This causes three sets of configuration options to appear, labeled with the headings Content, custom block, and custom menu link. The second column contains the available subtypes. These subtypes will have different labels depending on the entity type. For example, content type, custom block type, and custom menu link. Let's choose the subtypes we want to translate for each entity type. Check basic page for content, basic block for custom block, and custom menu link for custom menu link. Scroll back up and let's start with basic page. When we originally checked the translatable box for basic page, this checkbox also was checked. Show language selector on create and edit pages. And we'll keep that checked. Next, we need to verify these fields to see which ones we actually want to be translatable. Published will keep checked. Title is checked. Authored by, we're going to uncheck. Authored on will also uncheck. Changed, which is the date of last update, uncheck. Promoted to front page, which is whether the content will be included in some content views, unchecked, as well as sticky at top of lists. URL alias, which as you recall is a nicer URL for the content, will keep checked. And body, which is the main content of the page, also checked. Now scroll down to custom block. For basic block, we'll just uncheck changed as we did above. And same with custom menu link. Uncheck, changed, and now save configuration. A message will display that the settings were successfully updated. In this tutorial, we configured the custom block, custom menu link, and content entity types to be translatable. And we selected which of the fields on each subtype should be translated. See the written version of this tutorial for links to resources that will expand your understanding of this topic.